The cartoonist Matt Inman, known for his comic The Oatmeal, gave this talk some time ago in which he says he doesn't believe in God, instead he believes in his own personal deity. My God is a fire-breathing lobster <laughs> who lives behind the rings of Saturn. And his name is Jibbers Krabst. On his Tumblr, he posted a message he got from someone who wasn't too pleased with this cheeky bit of satire. I'm unsubscribing from your page because there are already enough people out there who are buttering up the egos of blithely stupid internet atheists. It is a dangerous ignorance you're reinforcing too, since you and your presumptive knucklehead atheist fanboys are too historically illiterate to understand that atheist regimes have been persecuting, torturing, and executing religious clerics and believers from the time of the Reign of Terror to present-day North Korea. Gee, I guess that means everybody should believe in God then. Listen, the officially atheist regimes that persecuted the religious did not do so simply because they were atheist. They were anti-theist and authoritarian. This dude seems to think that if lots of people become atheists, then atheists for some reason are likely to abandon democracy for dictatorship and outlaw the practice of religion. Some folks seem to think that since Stalin and Mao were atheist, atheism somehow leads to Stalinism or Maoism. It doesn't. The reason they persecuted the religious was not not just because they didn't believe in God, it was because they also didn't believe that people should be granted particular rights. Most of the atheists I know are still entirely in favor of recognizing a right to religious freedom. In fact, outside of China, Cuba, and North Korea, I doubt there are very many atheists who think that Christians should be rounded up and thrown in prison simply because they are Christian. Personally, I don't know any atheists who believe that. The slope from atheism to religious persecution is not as slippery as this guy seems to think. Becoming an atheist does not necessarily lead to becoming an anti-theist. Even becoming an anti-theist does not necessarily lead to promoting laws that persecute the religious. Sweden is a very irreligious country. It has more self-proclaimed atheists than most other, if not all other, Western countries. Do you really think that religious people in Sweden are even close to being in danger of being slaughtered like they were in the Soviet Union? Do you really think Swedes are on the cusp of throwing Christians into concentration camps? I don't see how a rational person could even think of that as distantly plausible. Chill the fuck out. You're not put in danger by the fact that an increasing number of people are identifying as atheists. Christians don't have to have complete fucking control of everything in order to avoid persecution.